I actually work better large because I can put the wood directly in front of me and I can stand up and I can draw on the wood. And I just freehand draw right onto the wood with chalk or marker or ink and then I just go right at it. I usually jigsaw out the negative spaces and then I just carve all the details. New Jersey is where I learned to surf. New Jersey is where I grew up with my friends and family. New Jersey is where Mark and I met. Um, it's our roots. I mean, there's nothing that I'm more proud of than being from New Jersey. But when Pine burned down, I really could not consider trying to do it again. We both had to try something new. So there was nothing more exciting than getting in the truck with our dog Davey and our surfboards and driving across the country. We got here on the inauguration day and it was a Santa Ana day and it, the surf was going off. It was very exciting and it was a really good way to start over. The first thing I did was go to what I know and what I love the most is swimming. So we would go get our, put our flippers on and just body surf and just get to know the Pacific. So I just started drawing and documenting my experience of swimming because the color's different out here, the temperature's different out here, the wind. I just start, couldn't stop making swimmers. And that was like my start over. Wood has its own personality. Every single piece has its own trait. A drawing you can control and go back and raise and change, and, but a woodcut, there's no control. Like you can have the design, you can carve it, but once you start carving it, it's it's expressive. But you really can't carve against the grain. You have to learn how to work with the wood. That helps me with my designs. It helps me figure out who's gonna go onto the piece. It's really interesting how certain designs go on certain pieces based off of the composition of the wood. The characters that I use, uh, well first they're inspired by women that I know. My mother, my sister, my girlfriends from New Jersey, the friends I've met out here. So they all are portrayed in some way in my story because I consider my work semi-autobiographical. And then oftentimes I put a little twist on them, you know, play with their alter ego, play with their rebellious side, um, play with their sexy side, you know, play with all these different parts of their personality and they're portrayed in different ways. The connection on an emotional level is the, as human beings, what we're afraid of can come out through the work. So it's almost that lesson of fearlessness or fear or love or trust or whatever those big topics are that we go through day to day in and out of life as humans gets interwoven into the work. So it's very subtle because I could never draw that. It's just more about the subject matter or the connection between the fabric and the woman swimming or the woman swimming and the water or the water and the city and how those things overlap. It just depends on what chapter I'm in in my life.